Debates over Taiwan's policy on imported meat have always been rooted in politics. Many say they don't want Lena's enhancing additives in their pork, and others say they worry about mad cow disease. But then, there are also Taiwan's trade ties with the U.S. to consider. Though food safety concerns are a priority, ruling and opposition parties have also fought endlessly about imports of U.S. beef and pork over successive administrations. Might doing so keep Taiwan-U.S. relations stable or even boost Taiwan's trade advantages? During his time in office, former President Chen Shui-bian of the GPP gradually allowed conditional beef imports from the U.S., ending a complete ban caused by Macau disease. This drew heavy criticism from the opposition KMT. But just a few years later, after the KMT won the presidential office, it decided to import more U.S. beef. The GPP made sure to remind voters of this in later campaign ads. Then President Ma ying of the KMT promised that food safety would come first and that cattle innards would still be banned. But Tsai Ing-wen, then DPP chairwoman, vowed with her party to support those protesting the relaxed policies. The Ma administration was slammed for kowtowing to the U.S. A few years on, it's Tsai and the DPP relaxing policies and the KMT on the offensive. Former Premier William Lai has acknowledged this bipartisan flip-flopping. When the GPP is in power, the opposition is against the policy. When it's the KMT's turn, the GPP opposes it. Is it impossible to find the balance between food safety, better trade deals and better diplomatic ties? Catherine Wei, RTI News.